This video includes every gold race in Ashkahet. Time stamped so you can find every race easily. If you haven't watched my Skyrating Tips video yet, I'll reference many tips like the Skyward Flick that you can learn about by clicking the card above. Otherwise, let's dive right in, starting with Pit Plunge, Reverse Course. I like to start with Reverse because I like to go hard first. Just coasting along to start with, pulling some energy. Do a skyward flick there, get some speed. Another skyward flick there, get some speed. Already going zoomy zoomy. Pulling energy again for a moment. I get bearings. Skyward flick. And start sprinting. Not a lot of orbs to start on this course, so I wanted to conserve to start, but. I might have even start spring too soon, but I can recover later. Okay, I got some orb. I got a orb. Okay, here's where the orb starts. So my sprint might have been just the right time. So you need to get to the orbs to start the sprint. And that's that. Reverse gold. Done super easily. Not a very long course. It's just about starting efficiency, pooling energy, and starting to sprint at the right moment. Now do that again on advanced. One surge and coast. This one, the sprint must be sooner because it got a lot of vigor. I'm going to start the sprint. The flick here. And then sprint. I always start the sprint with the flick if I can because it gets much more initial speed. Should be able to go full zoom the rest of the way. But there might be a bit of bigger pulling at the end. We shall see. Oof. My hand slipped there. That's why my steering was a little chaotic at first. Skyward Ascend and finish. Another easy gold unadvanced. Despite how slow I started it, you saw how, how I literally was going super slow at the start. Some of these races, it's not about how fast you start. It's about how fast you finish. You should always finish hard. And that's my strategy with most of these courses. It's a tried and true strategy that gets me near one shots in every of these courses. By just not being in a hurry at the start. You know, setting up my Vigor for the finish wins the race almost every time. That and the Skyward Flick are the biggest part of my strategies. Like this. An instant burst of speed. Again. I'm basically using the normal mode as a tutorial because it's not really like I'm not going to time this. Well, I should actually speed up a little bit. <laughs> and the other thing is, you'll see me racing in first-person mode. I prefer first-person mode because it means you can make sharper movements with less mouse movement. Because your camera's field of view is zoomed in, your turns are sharp, like this. Just instantly sharp. And on top of that, sometimes like there's a narrow branch you got to avoid or a tunnel you got to go through, and the more zoomed in you're in, the clearer you could target that. If you're zoomed out real far, then courses that have tunnels or bridges or just obstacles in your way are harder to navigate. This is my tried and true strategy. 
Now, on to the next course. The next course. Siege Hold Scuttle. Located here. The first course I did was over there. I forgot to put the map, mark the map. But I'm going bam, 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 bam. Just all around clockwise. So starting with reverse siege hold. Okay, this one's straight down. So I might not need to do two surges, just one probably. Just enough to get thrill the skies. Yep, there it is. I'm blue. Do just one. I'll coast. Coasting. 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 Flick. And zoom. And immediately into a sprint. You see what that flick could do? I pulled bigger until I was ready to start my sprint right there. And now I've got mass amounts of vigor and good speed. And I'm just surging now. I perfectly set up my myself up at the beginning, and the rest of this is just a cakewalk. Still swimming in vigor. It looks like I'm at the end. And I look, I ended the end, end of the race with perfect vigor completion. With 2.1 seconds to spare. This race is tuned tight, but I made it look easy. Because that perfect setup at the start. So if you don't get this at the first try, that's okay. Just try it a couple more times. But it's about that setup at the start to get your vigor lined up. And then starting your sprint out real hard with that skyward flick at that right moment. And then all you gotta do is coast to victory. Now do that in advanced. So I'm going to surge once, roll the sky so go up immediately because I'm going downward. I'm still going to coast. Flick here. Still coasting a little bit. Flick here. And start my sprint. Again, I like to emphasize on an energy pooled start. And then launching with a flick into a sprint. This is my strategy that I pretty much use on every course. On every course, it pretty much works. With the exception of certain courses that are short and require you to sprint out of the gate. But those are usually obvious because you'll see like two or three orbs right at the start. And you'll be like, yep, this is a sprint. Okay, finish strong, nearly five seconds to spare, easy, now the freebie. Some people like to use this as the warm up, I like to use it as the cool down. I like to start hard, and then after doing the hard stuff, unwind doing this before going to the next course. Now you can go and you can do it in a different order. I mean, whatever works for you. But that's just the way my, my line of thinking. I go straight into the reverse. That's the first course I do. I'm coasting a little more than I need to. Sometimes I don't take these normals seriously and I actually have to do it more than once. Because I'm like autopiloting. I'm forgetting to actually push buttons. And I should actually try sometimes on these. Especially since it's still possible to make a human mistake and run into a branch or something. And end it all. Okay, here's the end. And just so I, I'm clear on all of these, I end, I'd end it with Skyward Ascend. Because you're, when you're going upward, you always Skyward Ascend. Yep. And that's the second course. On to the third. The next course, located here in the center, is Weaver's Wing. And again, I'm going to dive into reverse first. 
Okay, I see an orb right to start. I'm gonna do one surge. Coast a little bit. Black chain to throw the skies. Two two surges there. Click here. Click here. This is a sprint. I think this one's like a sprint from the start. Based on the orb placement, this one's like go hard the whole way. And don't hit anything. I'm actually going into most of these courses blind. And again, just applying my philosophies. Like, I just let my philosophies take the win. Yep, goal it. First try. You could probably start sprinting sooner, but based on that timing, you don't need to. You can still pull to start like I did and finish with these. And that's probably still a more safe strategy. That's pretty much my always my go-to strategy. You're going to see me do it every single time. Every course you see me do a video on is the same strategy. And it almost always works. Again, I'm just going to pull here. Just doing enough surge to get through all the skies up. Pull, pull, pull. Now skyward flick into a sprint. Strategy has been executed. Ooh, that's kind of toxic. That's why I fly in first person. Imagine doing that in third person. You wouldn't have even seen that crevice that was so narrow at the bottom that you had to go through. I love doing these in first person. Like, I tried to do these in, in third person when I first started, and I was terrible at the races. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going spiral mode. I'm going freaking first person and going. I started acing these courses immediately after. Hands down. It might not make sense. You might think, oh, you want a larger field of view. The larger field of view makes your turning harder. Now you got a big dragon in the middle of your screen that's blocking you being able to actually see where you're going. Like when you're in first person, the dragon is not in front of you. Your course is. And that's what you need to be looking at. If you're looking at your dragon, you're not looking at what's in front of you. And that's a distraction. Remove the distraction. Now on to the easy one. Okay, two surges. This one's got wins. This one's going to be go to go anyway. Even pooling, it's going to be go. Okay, here's where I flick and start my sprint. This is the free one, so I'm not too worried about it. Oop, that crevice is still... <laughs> it's... I almost screwed it up on the easy one. That one's a bit rough there. But because I'm in first person, even though I was like... Oopsing? My turn control is spot on. And thus... Ends course three. Next course is Rock Aha Rush. Located over here. Like I said, I was going clockwise. And I'm going to start with reverse. This is one of those courses where my strategy needs to be altered because this one's full sprint start to finish. This one's like straight up go, go, go. You don't pull on this one like at all. You just start into a sprint and never stop. This one is a sprint through and through. Get up the top speed and stay there. An important thing to remember, when you're in a surge, you're immune to orbs. Doesn't mean you should like purposely go through them all, but if you have to go through one, make sure you're in a surge and you're good to go. Like that one, it didn't hurt me because I was in a surge.
This one literally gives you so much vigor that you I'm spamming. And it's keeping me it's keeping me plen plentiful. This one's designed to just be a full sprint beginning to end. Like I can't even spend the vigor fast enough, and I'm trying. And you finish with gold with only one second to spare. That's literally launching from the start and spamming surge. But the, the trick here is the orbs. Remember, you're immune to hazards while you're in a surge. It's faster to go through the orb than around it. Now, I went for it around a couple. That's only because I wasn't in a surge. If I was in a surge, I barreled through. This is probably going to be a sprint in either direction, so I'm going to show advance is exactly the same. And advance is probably easier because it looks like I get more downward speed at the start. But again, go right into the sprint. Get up to top speed immediately. Go through that orb, doesn't matter. And just zoom. Make sure you get this orb, though. If you're missing orbs, then you can't do the sprint. The sprint counts on you getting every orb. And not being afraid of hazards. Eat that orb. Doesn't matter. Eat that orb. Doesn't matter. Right through it. That one, don't eat it because you're probably ending your surge right when you approach it. This one, eat that orb. Sprinting. Going very hard and very fast. And I finish with a strong scour to send. Gold. Just that easy. And if you tried to go around those orbs I went right through, you might have lost those two seconds along the way. This course counts on you knowing that, remembering that. Not for the freebie. This one's just going to have winds along the whole path. This one's probably going to be absolutely free. Oh, there are any orbs on this? Oh, good. This, this one's going to be autopilot. Enjoy your AFK race. Oop. <sighs> Might actually not get gold from that mistake alone. It'd be fine. I swear the normals had orbs before. I feel like they nerfed the normals. Not much to talk about on this one. This one really is just a freebie. I'm not even perfectly executing it. Like, I'm actually losing top speed even with the wins. Because I'm just kind of not maximizing. Scour to send finish. Barely got gold, but I, I had that massive screw up in there. That one's done. On to the next. We've arrived at course five. Maddening deep dip. And we will dive right in. See what I did there? To reverse. Wait, wait, wait what? what? What's going on? Why are you facing me this? What's... Oh. I was confused. It's a weird start. I'm gonna pull at the start, going downward. I'll do a skyward flick here and begin my sprint. Ooh, it's pretty in here. Skyward flick here, skyward send here, another flick here, get my speed back and going uphill, 
continuing my sprint go in there go in there and hard finish easy i like that one short and sweet again the tried and true strategy pool flick sprint on to advance This will be two stretches to start to get through all the skies up and coast downward. Coasting, 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 flick, sprint. And pretty. Most any time I'm going upward, I'm still doing flicks. Because if you're not, it's bad. This one's actually harder than the reverse, to be honest. Didn't pull energy very good. Okay, that was a little sloppy. Still an easy gold. I ran out of vigor, but as long as you, as long as you're going upward, the skyward flick maintains more speed at low vigor than Surge does. All right, now the freebie. Go for it. I mean, the last freebie was almost not free, so I better not screw around. Take it a little bit more seriously. Two surges. Coast. Coasting. Wins. I don't need a flick with you. I want wins to start. Okay, I'm going to take this. After this wins, I'm going to sprint. Okay, starting my sprint a little later on this one. Simply because of the wins. Carried the intro. I wonder what playing this would be like on like a big screen TV. Okay. That course is done. On to the final. And for the final race, we have City of Threads Twist. Located over here. Here on the city map. I'm going to go right into reverse. Surge one, surge two, coasting a little bit. I lose speed, so I'm going to do a flick here. It's still going to coast. I'm not going to start my sprint just yet. I'm going to start my sprint now. I'm going to start without a flick because there was an orb there and I had to spend vigor. One's going through the city, so you might have to change your graphic settings to avoid. Oop. I lost some speed, so I had to do a flick to get it back. I didn't pull a vigor perfectly on this one because I didn't know the course. A flick there. Almost hit that lantern, that'd be bad. Be mindful of that, like I wasn't. There's Skyward Ascend there. And it's still an easy reverse gold. Okay. Carried by the flick. I'm telling you. Mash that trick and Dragon Racing, excuse me, Sky Racing becomes easier. Now, on to Advanced. I didn't get it in the first attempt because I was screwing around a little too much. 
So I'll actually take it more seriously. Two charges at the start. A flick here. A flick here. This one's just going to have to heavily abuse the flick. Because it's hard to pull vigor on this one. Pull here. Flick here. Okay, start a new sprint here. Okay, maybe I pulled enough this time. Yeah, I think I got the pacing better this time. This one's gonna take a couple tries because it's very long and you really have to get the pacing right. This one's about applying my strategy, but multiple times. Like you basically pull, sprint, pull, sprint, like a couple times on that course. But yeah, that's a lot better. I have four seconds to spare. The first attempt I missed it by like 0.2. Okay. Now for the freebie. Okay. This one might still be harder because it's longer. And there really aren't a lot of orbs. There'll be wins. So I'll still use flicks and take it somewhat seriously. All about just make finding the right pacing and balance. Okay. This one really should be in the bag. It is the free one, though. Barring like me absolutely like running into something. This race is over. If you've watched all the videos, all golds have been completed. And I thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like videos like this or other wild WoW content in general. I'm always trying to teach people everything I know about the game, whether it's skywriting add-on development, or boss encounters and dungeons. My channel has, has it all. So please come back for more, and thank you for watching.